What is a manifold? Now consider the planet Earth, right? From our perspective, standing on the planet Earth, it looks flat. But obviously, globally, planet Earth is not flat. So why do we think it's flat? Because we're so small in comparison to the whole thing that we cannot detect the fact that globally it's curved, right? Now this makes Earth the prime example of what we're going to call a manifold. But there are many examples of spaces that have the same property. For example, if you look at a torus, which is like the don a donut but with the insides not filled in, and imagine that you're a tiny person standing on the surface of the donut. Once again, you're going to think that the whole space is flat, even though globally it's not flat. So that makes a torus another example of a manifold. So a manifold is any space, roughly speaking, that locally looks flat and globally may not be flat. So what's an example of something that isn't a manifold? For example, a cone. Because if you're standing on the very tip of the cone, right? Imagine it's like a perfectly sharp tip, like one atom thick or something like that, and you're standing on the tip, no matter how small you are, you are never going to think that it's flat. You will never think that it's flat. Which means the cone is not a manifold because of that sharp tip. Now, these spaces, the sphere, the torus, are examples of two-dimensional manifolds. Uh, I should point out that both of these spaces have the insides not filled in. They're both hollow. Why are they two-dimensional? Well, because locally they look like a sheet of paper, which is 2D. But this can work in any number of dimensions. For example, a one-dimensional manifold is anything like these shapes over here. If you're a tiny ant standing on the surface, you're going to think that it looks like a straight line, which is one-dimensional. More generally, an n-dimensional manifold is any space that locally looks like n-dimensional space, but globally may not be the same as n-dimensional space.